अंडरग्राउंड सीक्रेट चेंबर बोलते भैया ये रूफ पूरा भी कवर हो गया आता है ये पूरा भी कवर होता है ये गिरने के बाद इस आर्कोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट ने रावण शेप वॉल बना दिए ये 1986-87 में मिला सो तभी तक कवर आता आप रूम के रावण शेप रास्ता है बीच में डिस्कस करने का रूम है नो दादा In our last video of Hampi, we visited some of the exclusive ruins inside the royal enclosure. Hampi was the capital of the Vijayanagara Empire which ruled over almost the entire Deccan Plateau. It was the largest and the most prosperous empire of India at the time for more than 200 years from the 14th to the 16th century AD. We visited the Mahanavami Dibba which is a 25 feet high intricately carved design platform where the king would sit and distribute gifts to his subjects in the form of gold and silver during the 9 days of Navratri festival. We found a network of waterways throughout meant for supplying water to every corner of the royal enclosure. There are remnants of multiple water reservoirs inside the enclosure. ये देखिए दसरा के टाइम पे आज लोग को पानी स्टोर करते थे पीने के लिए ऐसे बहुत टैंक मिल गए बा अ ब्यूटीफुली डिजाइंड पुष्करिणी और स्टेप्ड टैंक विद नीटली अरेंज स्टेप्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पिरामिड्स एट रेगुलर इंटरवल्स वी वर अमेज्ड टू सी द ह्यूज रॉक कट थालीस और प्लेट्स मेंट फॉर सर्विंग कंप्लीट मील्स टू द सोल्जर्स और कुछ है इधर हां ये अभी सीक्रेट चेंबर है चलो in this video, we would be visiting the dance stage, the secret chamber, the king's darbar, and the Pan Supari Bazaar, all inside the royal enclosure. We stood in front of a huge elevated platform, and our guide explained to us that this was used as a dance stage. This stage is visible from the Mahanavami Dibba, from where the king would watch the performances. Dance competitions were organized on this stage and at the end of the performance the emperor would distribute gifts to the competitors in the form of gold and silver. Upon moving closer to the dance stage we found numerous engravings near the base of the stage. One can observe that there are multiple engravings depicting hunting scenes. On close observation it can be seen that not only men but even women were actively engaged in hunting activities. An engraving of a mother carrying her child. A lady sitting lost in some deep thought. Take it. The king went out. The king didn't get the shikar or didn't get the shikar. He took his hand and took his hand. Sit down. There are holes at all the corners at the bottom of the stage, meant for fixing and holding a temporary cover or tent above the stage. These hands are carrying. The coal water, the oil, the pitcher, the oil, the oil, the oil, the oil. Near the base of the stage, there are engravings of various human figures engaged in dandiya dance. It clearly indicates the festive atmosphere of this area. Celebration. Celebration. The dance stage is very big and evidently could accommodate a number of dancers at the same time. Standing on top of the stage, I could sense that it was a happy society that lived and flourished over here more than 600 years back when the Vijayanagara Empire was in its prime. In fact, many travelers and traders who visited this place during its peak have written in their memoirs and journals that it was an extremely prosperous kingdom and people lived a happy and vibrant life over here.
अंडरग्राउंड सीक्रेट चेंबर बोलते भैया ये रूफ पूरा भी कवर होगा आता है ये पूरा भी कवर होता है ये गिरने के बाद इस आर्कोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट ने रवन शेप वॉल बना दिए ये 1986-87 में मिला सो तभी तक कवर आता आप रूम के रवन शेप रास्ता है बीच में डिस्कस करने का रूम है नेक्स्ट वी वेंट टू सी द सीक्रेट चेंबर इट इज एन अंडरग्राउंड चेंबर वेर ऑल कॉन्फिडेंशियल मीटिंग वुड टेक प्लेस Archaeological Survey of India discovered this place in the 1980s when the roof of the chamber collapsed. There are a flight of steps leading down. We climbed down the steps to find complete darkness inside. We used our cell phone torch to find a narrow corridor leading inside. This corridor led to the secret chamber. We found this place really interesting. Simply trying to imagine that all secret and important meetings of the empire would take place here. Hey, Dago, <laughs> we are inside the secret chamber. <laughs> दिखा देखो राजा का दरबार हाल राजा ऊपर बैठ के जजमेंट देता था पहले जमाने का कोर्ट ये 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 कोर्ट है हम्म कोर्ट अच्छे The next interesting place is the emperor's audience hall also known as the king's darbar where judgments would be passed by the king It is a large raised platform यहां बैठ के ये देखो 100 पिलर का सभा मंडप है उड्डा पूरा चढ़ जाएगा The king used to sit on the raised seat and listen to the audience and pass his judgments accordingly jo dikh raha tha ko hazara ram temple bolte hai ye rama ka mandir hai tabaya andar mandir ke andar pura bhi rama lakshmana sita ka murti our guide pointed towards the hazara rama temple at a distance which we would be visiting after this it was the place used for minting coins the minted coins were kept under the idols of the deities all these were looted during the invasion of hampi by the deccan sultans During the Vijayanagara era this was the audience hall at darbar which was used as the court to pass judgments and also the king used to hold meetings here with his citizens and other noblemen to discuss the common grievances As far as my vision could reach there were stretches of ruins one after the other sprawling endlessly with darbar halls markets gigantic platforms water tanks underground chambers temples pushkarinis residential quarters of the royal family members and a lot more the entire ruins of hampi are designated as unesco world heritage site there is so much more to see here one needs to be prepared for walking as it stretches over a large area we then proceeded towards the pan supari bazaar which was a buzzing trading center during the vijayanagara period the pan supari bazaar is also located within the royal enclosure This bazaar is a ruined market complex of Hampi. There are many ruined structures inside the Pan Supari Bazaar complex such as the single and double storied pillared pavilions sitting on which the traders would sell their stuff.
This market place stands merely as a remnant of its glorious past. The Pan Supari Bazaar was one of the four main market complexes that existed during the time of the Vijayanagara Empire. Pan means betel leaf and Supari is a kind of nut. This area was surrounded by Supari trees, hence the name given was Pan Supari Bazaar. It was an active trading center for precious gems where traders from far off lands came to sell their products. Inside the Pan Supari Bazaar, we found a water tank with multiple steps going deep inside. This was probably used as a reservoir for the market area or it might have been a pool used for bathing. Merely looking at this place, one can imagine the amount of activity at this place. The Pan Supari Bazaar was a bustling market where traders from all over the world assembled. In the 15th and the 16th centuries, Hampi, the capital of the Vijayanagara Empire, was an important metropolis with thriving bazaars which were engaged into the trade of precious gems and other riches that attracted merchants from all over the world. Join us in our next video to experience the abundant creative expressions at the Hazara Rama temple located right in front of the Pan Supari Bazaar and which was also the main area for minting gold and silver coins.